Hey, this is King Monye. What's up, YouTube? It's a story time right now. So it was uh, 2020. I was at Susanville Prison. I was on a uh, Lassen Yard building number eight. So anybody know anything about Susanville Prison? Uh, it's about a 60-man dorm. The way Susanville is, it's a uh, top tier, bottom tier all outdoors and uh, so building number eight is right outside in the corner of a building and there's the stairs that go up so underneath the stairs is the blinds it's the cuts that's where everybody goes and fights if they got problems you can go over there and just fight and get it out the way without the police seeing you and without everybody getting caught so that's what people do so from building eight the building i was in i always had front row seats and could see all the fights so this one day i see this dude uh these cats from the bay area uh getting into it i don't know who he, I, I don't know who he getting into it with, but i just see him hyped up Taking off his shirt, tell bro to come over here and catch my fade. Tell bro to come over here right now and catch that fade. That's what, yeah, I got that. You know, he, he hyped up and I'm looking out the window like, oh, it's about to be a squabble. Somebody about to fight. So, but I don't see nobody come. He's just a big old Hollywood talking, talking loud. You know what I'm saying? Got his shirt off, but nothing happened. So then I just like, all right, whatever. Then like 10 minutes later, I hear the bro back over there doing it again, pulling off his hat, pulling off his shirt, tell that nigga to come over here. I got paperwork on that nigga, on my mamas, on my mamas. I mean, you know, he hyped up. But this time, it's a little bit more people. You know, it's, been, it's more people over there. And then I see somebody coming over who looks like he's his opponent. It's a big old fat dude, kind of fat, look like Doughboy or something, I'm like, he talking to this dude, so the other dude is kind of like skinny and tall, got his little cuts, and he talking to a, a fatter dude that's kind of fat, you know what I'm saying? And uh, but he fat and kind of more chubbier and chunkier, you know. Uh, he want the fade with him, so they they go they about to squabble up. The dude, skinny dude that been popping off, gets to getting on him, like really aggressive, tagging him, boom, boom, you know what I'm saying? Splitting him, he gets a little hit. This little, his little, his little skinny fist is splitting him. Boom, boom. He's tagging a big dude. Big dude get mad. You know, he tired of eating these hits. He can't get them. Big dude do the best thing he know how to do. He grab him. Ugh. Just grab him. Locked on to him. And just picks him up. Ugh. Dips him on his head. When he dips him on his head, skinny bro falls. The impact of fat dude slamming him. Crush the dude's hand when he fell and hit the ground. He crushed his hand against the ground and his his bone snapped. And I seen his hand dangle. It was I just seen his hand dangle in his skin. He said, ah, ah, ah. I, was, ah, I, I know it ain't funny, but I was laughing. You know what I'm saying? And then when I seen. That the dude was still hitting him. The big dude didn't give a fuck. Still just hitting him. And the dude couldn't fight back because his arm was dangling. He said, ah. I yelled out the window. I said, hey, man, y'all need to knock that off, man. The bro, bro's arm is broke. He can't fight. Dude, dude was from the Bay Area. Come over there to tell the boy who, who had started the fight. He said, they was like, nigga, you better get in there and fight that nigga. We don't do that from the town, nigga. You know how we do. Get back in there with that nigga. He said, I can't, my arm. <laughs> I was like, hey, man, do his arm is broke. Oh, man, he snapped his arm, man. He snapped his arm. And uh, eventually they stopped the fight. Dude had to get medical. I tell you the story, right? Why? Because he asked for that. He went over there twice. He provoked the dude. He needed that fade that bad. So I tell that story to be careful what you ask for because you just may get it. And that day he got more than he bargained for. So uh, the next time I seen him, he was in a sling, man. He had snapped his arm. He came back probably like probably like a 
week later, after he went to the hospital, I had to get it in the cast. So that was one of the, like, that was a, a fight that I seen up close, where it was like, dang, it, you can just see how, how things can go bad real fast. His whole arm just snapped. Arm um, twisted the whole other way. I seen it hit the ground. I seen it crack the other way. And I seen him not be able to move. And he was winning the fight. But that's all it took was the big dude to grab him, smash him on the ground, and then hit him a few times while he got a broken arm. And right there, it was over. So hey, I'm King Mon I tell these stories, man, I encourage you to do the right thing, damn it. You ask for that shit, you get that shit. If you talk that shit, you get that shit, man. Y'all be easy.